Thanks, Cahillac. I move that the bill be now read a second time. Uh, we've all seen it in the news, Cahillac. A profile of a makeshift studio apartment skillfully crafted out uh, of an upstairs hallway or a granny flat that, wa that has your bed conveniently a few feet from your kitchen or a few feet from your toilet, all yours for €800 Euro a month. Every few weeks we see these stories in the media. They're often posted by people uh, who are searching online for properties. They make it into the media. Uh, they are stories that reflect the depths of desperation that we've reached in the rental crisis. And it will profile an advertisement for rental letting that screams the indignity of being a modern renter. It's either a bed in a dorm room shared with several other people, a shared bed with a stranger, or a, sh a furnished shed or a fabrication at the end of the garden, uh, sometimes in the absence of planning permission. What's more astonishing is that even after media attention uh, and online attention is brought to these lettings, the advertisements remain online. They're rarely removed by the online letting agent, and I presume and expect that most, if not all, uh, end up getting rented out. It's depressing to go apartment hunting right now. Some landlords seeking to take advantage of the housing crisis and the desperation of many are making available such rooms and putting them online in the knowledge that they are not within the law. I want to talk about existing legislation and regulations. Uh, the statutory instruments, the Housing Standards for Rented Houses Regulations 2017 sets out a robust series of measures regarding habitable standards such as uh, ventilation, heating, fire safety, sanitary facilities and basic kitchen facilities. There's good reasons for these uh, regulations. They set out a minimum standard so that a person can live in a house or apartment and have their most <coughs> basic needs catered for. Equally, we have overcrowding legislation in Section 63 of the Housing Act 1966. However outdated, it sets out that a person renting in a shared room must have 400 cubic feet of their own space. This means that whether it's a bed in a dorm room shared with multiple strangers or a bed shared with a stranger, uh, it's almost certainly outside of existing legislation or fire safety standards. Council inspectors are struggling to uh, fight against rogue landlord landlordism. Uh, Cash-strapped cash local authorities are largely failing to take, take on these landlords against uh, competing obligations and stretch resources uh, given the extent of the housing crisis. As a result, a lack of enforcement and effective rent control has brought us to a point of desperation. Uh, Substandard housing for inflated rents. Many tenants are unaware of their rights or lack confidence in asserting those rights because they feel lucky to have a place at all. While we're in the throes of a housing crisis that's based upon quantity, you know, Minister, that we can't neglect our commitment to quality. Uh, it's a rewarding time to be a landlord right now, and therefore it should not be acceptable that minimum standards are not met uh, by investment from that same landlord. Our proposal, this legislation uh, before the House today, the Property Services Advertisement, of Unfit Lettings Amendment Bill 2009 seeks to curb the advertising, particularly online, of substandard re rental, rental properties that do not meet existing legal rental standards, including overcrowding or fire safety regulations. We're not seeking to change regulations uh, in any way in this bill. It's a short piece of legislation that seeks to ban simply the advertising of, um, of properties that don't meet those regulations. I'll just run through the bill, the proposals in the bill briefly. In section two of the bill, I propose a new section to the Property Services Regulation Act 2011, uh, 56A. Uh, it deals with uh, allowing the PSRA to issue directions to online platforms and letting agents uh, to remove advertisements that breach minimum standards, uh, and they would give seven days uh, for those ads to be removed. It also allows for members of the public to contact the PRSA, uh, PSRA to report advertisements. 
while the minimum standard regulations, as I've stated, are a robust series of measures, uh, potential breaches are not always obvious from photographs and therefore uh, a threshold of evidence would be required. And the purpose of se uh, subsection 5 would allow the PSRA to have the powers of investigation um, to consult with advertisers to determine the threshold uh, of what they may need. Um, you know, similar to the code of conduct that exists, letting agents, you know, in, in our towns and villages, uh, letting agents don't advertise um, properties in their window, in their shop windows, that don't meet minimum standards. Uh, I've met with the PSRA. I concede, I, I concede that uh, this needs to be clearer, and I will submit amendments at committee stage to give that clarity. Uh, I'll also seek amendments at committee stage that would deal with instances where the PSRA receive a complaint regarding a property that requires physical investigation. Uh, in that case, I think it, it, it should be possible that they would be able to notify the local authority uh, to carry out the inspection on their behalf. Ultimately, the bill allows the Minister to set um, the operation of this legislation. This legislation can only be commenced if you and your department are ready to go. While the PSRA don't currently have remit for online platforms, uh, no state body does. So I feel that given their experience in working with letting agents in this regard, uh, that they're best placed to achieve an effective response uh, to this problem. I would also like to confirm that social media is naturally included in this legislation and persons may refer social media ad to the PSRA in the same way that they would any other rental platform. The, the majority of social media advertising takes place on Facebook. They currently operate uh, an advertising policy that they don't, when, that they don't approve ads uh, that would breach the laws of a, any given jurisdiction. So this legislation would hold that policy to account. Uh, and ideally, social media sites and renting platforms would self-regulate to ensure compliance with this law. I'm sure that's something that you'll touch on yourself, Minister. Um, I want to talk about the amendment that Fine Gael put forward to this bill this morning um, to delay the reading, the second reading of this bill for six months. Um, in my opinion, in the opinion of Sinn Féin, this is a dishonest delay tactic from Fine Gael. Um, and I wonder, are you too embarrassed to vote against the proposal as it stands? And by delaying this legislation, are you saying that it's okay for illegal properties to be advertised on the market for the next six months? I'd remind Fine Gael the last time they submitted an amendment to one of my own bills, and it was co-signed by Senator Lynn Ruan, um, was around the voting age at 16 in certain elections. Um, and it was stated that you wanted to consider the bill further. Six months on, there was no engagement, uh, despite our attempts to do so. And when we brought the bill back, it was opposed on the basis that a referendum would be called on the issue, and we've, ne we've never seen that referendum. Mm -hmm. So, um, in addition to that, I can see no example where a six-month delay to an opposition bill has enhanced that legislation, and I don't think it's, the dem it's a democratic proposal. So I'd call on Fine Gael not to stifle the efforts of this legislation, but to actually work with us and other members uh, to ensure the most effective legislation is developed. I don't see this bill as a finished project, product, and that, uh, that's why we have so many stages across both houses of the Oireachtas. Um, no matter how long it takes or whatever form it would take, we are ready to work with government. Um, but this amendment tonight by Fine Gael does nothing uh, to achieve any collaboration, only political cover to discourage the effort. Um, lastly, I'd like to thank those who supported the bill. I think it's the start of allowing renters engage with the um, rental market with dignity and respect. Um, it is the enforcement of current statute at the end of the day that we want to see. Um, properties that don't meet minimum legal standards should never be on the rental market. Thank you.